Hi gamers. It's me Aries. I'm back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. But before we start. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell button to stay updated on what's new. Without further ado, let's get started. Today I will show you all the contents of the public test server, if I cannot put everything here in our video. I have more videos next about it. We'll talk about new backgrounds, various attachments, user interface or UI, and much more. By the way, I made a video about the test server, the link is already there, just check later if you want to download. I also gave tips there on how to download the test server quickly. Let's start with the loadout. Let's see what changes. As you can see there is a new UI for loadout. A lot has changed so we will all discuss if we can in just one video. There are many attachments that can be placed, we used to choose only one type of attachment for 4 grip, but now there are many classes. They also have different abilities, you can read on the screen. I will not go into detail because our video will be long, I will just show everything. All attachments I will show you. Many say that it is gradually making similar to the PC version of Call of Duty. I think they did better this way. Mind you guys, not everything on the test server will put in the next update. We have many choices, not just one. This is another big update. I'm not sure if all the attachments we see will be included in the Season 6 update. We have a hard time choosing a good attachment because there are so many of them. There are descriptions in every attachment that say where they are stronger in some instances and not. The next thing is, you can save the gun as a blueprint if you finish putting the attachment in your gun. You can also rename, after you're done, just click the save button. Next is crosshair, many are waiting for it because we have a lot of options unlike before, just one. All the crosshairs we can use are on the screen. Comment down below, what crosshair do you want to use? I'm glad they put this version because it will be easier for us to aim well, if we have a chance to choose, than the others out there who use third-party apps to have a crosshair. Now you will not use other apps just to have a crosshair, and at least now we have a variety of options. Now let's see if there are new guns to be put in multiplayer. We just slide right to see the guns. So far we have not seen a new assault rifle and sniper rifle. The same goes for LMG class, still nothing new. Maybe an SMG there is. Let's see. We have a new gun in SMG, and this is the Razorback. It looks like PDW57. You can also see its statistic. The next is the shotgun. We now see the new shotgun named KRM262. It looks like a good gun. Its damage is almost 100. That's kinda good for me. The next is the secondary weapon, just like it was earlier in the primary weapon I showed. There are also attachments of different types here. I will just let you watch all the new ones on our test server. Thank you guys.